Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you all are having a great evening. Yep, so I know I was on YouTube before. Twitch is a lot easier to stream on. What's going on, Gambit? Thanks for making it on out. And also, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Always appreciate a new follower. Alright, so rules are simple this round. Very simple. We have to one shot every single team, or a Tuscan is going in. Hey, DDH, thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Yes, yeah, so we have to one shot this lovely roster that has not one, not two, but three. Ultimate Galactic Legends. So, I have no idea what's on defense. I'm hoping not all three. I'm hoping maybe a crappy Ray team and Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Maybe save Jedi uh, Master Luke for offense. I don't know. But there is only one way to find out. And that's to get on into the battle. Okay, so we do have Ray, and that looks like crew up top. I just want to make sure I'm seeing this right. Yep. Alright, so that is a crew team that is a lot better. Um Yeah, it, it kind of is a tough bracket. Um, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to even show you some of the uh, people we got. So, we got Arconi here. He's got all four. His guild name is very appropriate. Dominate. Because I know if he faces me, he's probably going to dominate me. Uh, yeah, this guy, he only has one. So, I'm hoping to get matched up with him. He will be uh, easier to beat. He has two. But, unfortunately, we do not match up well because our Jedi Master Luke loses to uh, Sith Eternal there. Uh, we have our current opponent right there. All right, this this will essentially be a mirror match, this guy. So I kind of hope to actually get him next round, just because I'd be really cool facing someone who has a nearly identical roster to me. Yeah, this guy, he has the two original. And then we have this person who has three, ultimate as well. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be tough. But it doesn't matter. We go up against one Galactic Legend or four. We have to sweep through all of them. Or we're going to have a Tuscan uh, going into gear 12. Alright, so. And the other thing is, this means he had to save Supreme Leader Kylo Ren to do a 1v5 with. Hello there. Thank you for coming out to the stream. Yep. So, right here, uh, that means he has to have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, uh, save for offense. So, that's a nice sight. So, our first big matchup is going to be uh, this Ray team. And this looks very simple to use Thrawn lead against. Um, this seems like a perfect time for our Thrawn lead counter. So, we're going to get into it. If you guys haven't seen this before, it is honestly the easiest counter there is to uh, Galactic Legends Ray that doesn't involve a uh, Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, Revan can screw this up pretty easily. Alright. We'll do the usual, just pass this on over. Give the tech here. You're going to want to stall this a second. 
and then you want to do this to get that uh, crit damage off, crit damage immunity off, because that's just going to uh, mess things up a bit. Ooh, all right. That's different. I've never had a deal with a uh, veteran smuggler Han, and he actually delayed us a bit there, and that's actually going to hurt us quite a bit. Um, mess us up a little bit there, but we're going to be fine overall. Would have uh, never thought that to be an issue initially. So there, you learned something new. So we're just going to get rid of him so that's no longer an issue. And then, you know, we're just going to take this kill now while we can have it. We'll get up another Force Crush. I should have actually been targeting Ray here because Watambor assists out of turn and when he does he can apply up to two dots so if you ever use a special make sure you're targeting ray because then you have the chance to do it we want to get the speed down off of vader all right uh let's go back to targeting ray let's get two more dots that is lovely yeah so uh we'll just kill here kill here we're gonna get some more dots here. That's fine. We're just gonna kinda toy around here. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna recover our banners. Um You know what? Maybe I ought to just take uh You know, I think I'll just take the 59 here. We don't wanna mess this up. So we'll take our 59 banners against Galactic Legends Array. Oh, well, I, I appreciate that compliment, Gambit. Uh, but the truth is, is, I've been studying this. I've been using it. And actually, on my alt account, I have to climb with a worse version of that team against Rays because the top 200 are filled with Galactic Legends. So there you go. Nice, easy uh, 79, or 79, wow, 59 point win against Galactic Legends Ray. Hey, I'm telling you, this is the best counter as long as they don't have someone who's going to prevent a turn meter or can go around a uh, short trooper's taunt. If they can't go around the taunt and they don't have Malik who prevents your bonus turn meter, you can't lose. Really can't when you practice this. So, now we have Mon Mothma here. This is not a this is a uh, decent, decent team. It's not really your ideal composition. You're going to want people who can heal and feed turn meter. Uh, because when they heal, you your attacks out of turn only lose 10% rather than losing 60%, I believe is the difference. Yeah, so... If they use a, a basic ability that uh, does damage, your assists only do 10%. If they're doing an ability that deals no damage, they're dealing 55%. So this is not a very good lineup for the team, but it is very anti-Empire with Biggs and Wedge here. Um, they get bonuses against the Empire. So, we're going to look at uh, some of our toys available to us. You know, we got Padme. We got Gas would be overkill. Want to save Night Sisters. If they set uh, Rebels with uh, Chewie and 3PO, Mother Talzin lead is actually a fantastic counter. Um, I'm not sure if how OG Kylo would work. I don't know. I have never uh, never tried it. But what I do know uh, not his stats. I'm going to pass on OG Kylo for right now. 
Um, and my nest is on defense. Uh, one of my favorite teams to set on defense is uh, this Newt-led team right here. It just it steals a lot of banners. That or they have to overkill. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, I know Treya could do well. But mine aren't geared up well enough. But we do have a new team we can have some fun with that I've yet to really use on stream because uh we do have some uh imperial troopers that can now do damage you know we can actually do uh quite a bit of damage here i've never used them against mon mothma i don't know how it's going to work but i really want to find out how it's gonna work so we're gonna bring in our imperial troopers All right, we are fast enough. Um, we are gonna put this over on Stark, actually. All right, let's let's uh, let's get some turn meter ramp going here. Ability blocks would be nice. We only got one. That's unfortunate. Uh, but what we can do is we can get Death Mark. And with Death Mark, unfortunately it already got cleansed. That sucks. All right, all right. Ugh, this is not looking like a uh, great, uh, not looking like an ideal counter, but is doing okay. Not to mention my uh, snow trooper is pretty undergeared, but it looks like we're gonna get the win. I'll do that. Get some more turn meter going. Uh, let's just get this up a little more before Mon Mothma can do a stupid revive. There we go. Yeah, not the cleanest win. I still haven't really used Imperial Troopers much on offense. Uh, still getting used to them. But now we get to see what lies behind this wall. There we go. We have CLS. The three... That is a very high gear, uh, high relic one. Yeah, rest in peace, uh, uh, Snow Trooper. Let's uh, get ripped in the chat. But uh, for those just coming in, because I know a few people uh, joined in, uh, leave a comment in the chat right now. Because I have to one-shot every single one of these teams. If not, I am bringing a uh, Tuscan up to gear 12 so uh let me know which tuscan it should be and i will let you guys know this if it is Ura Ura, you're gonna have to give me a little bit of time because i don't even have him at seven stars yet but yeah leave a comment in the chat which tuscan you want to see go to uh gear 12 all right so that boss team that's going to be easy uh uh jedi training ray no questions asked. Uh, love our Jedi's against Grievous. Um, honestly, the Finn lead might be the team I'm most afraid of. And not because it's Finn, but because it's uh, those heroes there. I'm going to one-shot all of them. Yeah, I am planning to one-shot all of them. I don't know why he saved uh, two Galactic Legends for offense. Hey, rest in pieces. Thank you for the follow. So we're gonna we're gonna work on this team up here. Uh, we saved our um, Galactic Legends for offense. Um, let me just you know we're we're just gonna take care of this easy battle right here first. Let's just get that out of the way because it's going to be a boring matchup. CLS for Finn. I could do that. I could rock that. But right now, we're just going to take care of uh, this really crappy Bounty Hunters team. Uh, because this is going to be the most boring battle. And I don't want to save boring for the end. 
Gotta save the exciting stuff for the end. Alright, let's just go and just start killing off some of these others if we can. Is this the one that gives turn meter? That, we'll get a little inspiration there. Maybe we could just kill IG-88 off the bat right here. That would have been cool. We didn't. That's fine. Alright, let's uh, get a kill there. Cool. Counterattacks just absolutely destroyed Django. I'm actually going to try to stall out this battle a little bit. Because it's uh, looking like we're going to be able to easily get 60. So I actually want to be able to recover that protection banner. So uh, let's, uh, let's make sure we get our protection back here. Don't want to lose any more dumb banners. We already lost one on the ray counter. And here we go. Easy 60. All right. All right. So now, now we have the four exciting teams left. Sort of exciting. This uh, Grievous team is a bit of a joke. But I did see a, a request for a CLS going up against Finn. I like that call a lot. We're going to do it. Ooh. I forgot to change these lineups. So I'm actually going to do some quick editing right here. Yes, so just so uh, people know here, you actually want to have Chewbacca in your lineup fifth. It's a little weird, I know, but there might be a little bit of a bug, whatever, but it helps basically ensure you're going to get guard on CLS who's what you're going to want guard on. You're the worst player at the moment? Don't say that. Don't say that. So, let me get this now properly lined up squad. Don't divulge any guild secrets. I mean, is, is it a secret to say our guild is the uh, best at uh, Territory Wars? Because we recently just overcame a near, what was it, 40 um, million GP deficit and... They almost had us outnumbered two to ones in terms of Galactic Legends. Let's uh, throw up a blind here. Let's uh, get the stun here. Uh, let's just have everyone attack Poe. Yeah, this battle is almost too easy. It's not even fun. Yeah. Well, hey. I do have more than uh, one guild of people who do come to check out the streams. So, you know, that uh, that a statement can work for a few people. That's going to wipe them out. I'm surprised Holdo survived that. I'm kind of disappointed she did. All right, another 60. Nice and easy. Um, Crew's probably the best team left. I don't know, maybe, or actually no, uh, this team is definitely the best team left. Uh, so we have that there. Let's just bring in the full might of the uh, First Order. Except when I say uh, the full might, I actually mean we're going to get rid of one, uh, one of them. Just so that way we can uh, get the uh, achievement for... Uh, you know, uh, what well, undersize? That's the name. Oh wow! I'm so glad they decided to target <laughs> Supreme Leader Kylo Ren on that. I wonder how that's gonna work out for them in the long run. All right, let's do that. Let's wipe out a few people, and then if we can get uh, Chupio out of the way, that would be ideal. It's actually a. Uh, Cleanse that off. There we go. 
Yeah, it's not a it's not gonna end up actually being a great banner win, but it's still a one shot. Uh, if my Night Sisters were higher relics, I would have actually done a Mother Talzin lead versus that, so I could then solo with uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. So, out of uh, these two teams, which one do you want to see uh, our Jedi with? And then which one do you want to see Padme go up against, guys? It's poking people in the eye. So that way you don't have to see the absolute tragedy that was the new trilogy. That's why he's poking their eyes out. So that way you never have to see what a mess episode 8 was. And that entire trilogy. There was so much that went wrong with it. So much. But let me know. Who's a... Uh... Gotta have a uh, Padme beat a squad, and we gotta have uh, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker beat a squad. Let me know in the comments. Who do you want to see? All right. All right, Jet Knight Revan. Jedi Knight Revan. Why not Jedi Master Luke Skywalker? Not doing Jedi Knight Revan. He's just going to be part of the team. <laughs> He's only a tiny part of the team here. We're going to Overkill City against these fools. We are, nah, no, no Jedi Knight Revan. We are, we are showcasing our second Galactic Legend. Jedi Knight Revan. See, Revan made the team. He's there. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's just stun everyone. You know, take a take a minute here relax while none of them can move oh i sh i should i definitely should have undermanned it this is such an easy team i just wish i had thought about that earlier oh did you really do that to me grievous i don't appreciate uh you doing damage to me i'm actually gonna cheese this a little and uh let's just have hermit yoda <laughs> How many times are you going to see Hermit Yoda kill General Grievous? You tell me where you are going to watch General Grievous be killed by Hermit Yoda. <laughs> so, uh, with this ability, they will end up taking... Um, some true damage. So true damage is based off of your offensive number. And technically Hermit Yoda does have an offensive number. Therefore, he dealt damage. <laughs> You're welcome. You learn something new every day on this channel. Ah, uh, gotta love it. Alright, let's just, uh, let's get back to just beating this real quickly. Let's finish it off, take our 59 and get out of here. Yeah. Just, uh, just remember guys, Hermit Yoda kills General Grievous. If you're gonna take one thing from this stream, Hermit Yoda killed Grievous. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Alright, so now we're going to go here, and we're actually going to fix the squad back up. Alright, now that that is fixed, we're going to go in here. We're going to have Padme take out the First Order. I know, 59 basically was a loss. Um, 
okay, I really thought my game was about to glitch there, and then I'm like, well, crap, here's my loss now. Uh, let's do that. Um, get rid of you. Okay, we got the heal immunity, which is what we wanted. It's a nice little uh, kick to the face there. And can we get the stun on crew? Nice. All right, that's going to take care of Kylo. And now we have just crew left. Uh, we'll do that. Just honestly trying to buy a little bit of time for this. And of course, the one issue you're going to face is that um, crew takes uh, less uh, less damage from a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, percentage effects. So Sacks of Courage actually don't really work against him. So right now what we have to do is just land a healing immunity with uh, Anakin. And once we do, we'll be good. Come on. There we go. Now we can do bigger hits. Come on. There we go. All right, 58 for the win. And now we get our ships. I see Admiral Akbar or sorry, Holdo. And Thrawn, and interesting enough, starting the Sith Bomber. That's an interesting start, because I actually like his reinforcement a lot. Also, not an Empire unit, so that's a... Uh, that actually has me a little confused, not gonna lie. It's got me uh, wondering. But hey, we're on to ships. Everyone's favorite part of the game. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is fairly standard going in uh, Kenobi. Now, one thing you might want to know, and I actually want to keep my Holdo for offense, Holdo is very good against the Malevolence. Actually does a very nice job against it. So, for those of you who maybe went after Ray, had to get um, that ship, highly, highly recommend saving that for offense. Yeah, I mean, it could be a banner stealer. Let's just hope it isn't a wind stealer, because uh, I'm not sure... Uh, what we're going to do. Holding out for a dad joke. Oh, you're expecting a lot out of me. I don't know. You'll get one eventually. You already know how I work. All right. Let's uh, do that here. Stop uh, any heals. Is there a protest button? Um, I'm not sure. Let me know if you find one. Because that would be uh, kind of nice. Alright, let's, uh, let's get Plo Koon in here. Uh, clean up some of this. Alright, have, have to get a miss in here. Let's, uh... Hurry up and get rid of this. I don't like the constant gains of foresight. It's pretty annoying. To have to deal with. And let's get our offensive up. But you know, the funny part about ships is you can learn a very valuable lessons from ships. Say for example, if you give someone a plane ticket, they'll fly for a day. But if you push that same person out of a plane, 
they'll fly for the rest of their life. You know, valuable lessons you can learn here. General Grievous. And that's going to be a solid 66 banner win. And now we have one more. We are going to go Thrawn versus Thrawn here. But I kind of like our Empire a little bit better. And then I know this seems like a weird ship to throw in. Good reinforcement. <laughs> Recover some extra protection in case the uh, bomber gets hurt a bit. Oh, come on. You guys had to know I was going to throw in a, a dad joke eventually. Alright, so you know Can I just kill Vader right away? Nah. I didn't think so. Wishful, think wishful thinking. Uh, don't need to do that because that way I can save the taunt. Um... You know what? Usually I like to start with this ability. I'm going to push back the turn meter so I can get my burnout first. And of course, he resisted the uh, resisted that. So this is actually a very bad start for this uh, type of matchup. Alright, let's do that. And this is literally why I brought him in. Did not think I'd have to, uh, oh, he's, uh, this doesn't dispel, right? All right, this is looking, uh, a bit dicey. Oh, that is not good. That is not, 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 not good. Alright, uh, Consular, can you go? Can you go? I'm... And he got ability blocked. It, this is looking like it's going to be a loss, folks. Not going to lie. We are in very dangerous territory right now. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, let's bring you in. No. I'm going to bring in the Reaper. Yeah. I want to uh, dispel that taunt. We got to get rid of the bomber. And he brings in a new taunter. Perfect. Guys, we, we might be uh, getting our loss here. <laughs> We're definitely getting our loss here. No chance. If I can survive a little bit, this extermination is going to take out a few people. Oof. Man, we, uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, our loss here. Yep. All right, let's uh, get rid of him. It's going to come down to, uh, oh, wait, I get to go. Whew. Man, did that get scary or what? Man, you know what? I got to remember putting the uh, Sith Marauder in that lineup. That was really good. I never even thought about that. And, you know, because of that battle... We only end up with a uh, 2111 here. It's uh, not really a great score. Definitely left a few banners out there where we could have underdogged more. Yeah, I'll play the lotto tomorrow. You guys have any ideas for uh, numbers?
But hey, thanks for coming out to the stream, guys. And I'm going to leave you with this question to think about. Are national anthems just considered country music? That's the important questions, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for coming out.